We're breaking the law. We're not supposed to be here. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be kicked out. Who knows? There's no one else here, so. I do have an audience of uh, cars that are stuck at the light. Right over there is the train station. So it's kind of a busy area. But he always stays close to me. Even when I throw the toy far away, he always comes back. There was a time, either last year or the year before, with some old lady from one of the houses back over there came over and uh, handed me a note, and the note said she requested that I not bring the dog here because I guess she babysits a little kid and the little kid is worried that, or, or they're worried that the dog may bite the little kid or something like that, but he has no interest in little children. But I understand her concern and I did comply and I, and I uh, did not come for like a year or so. But I came back now because it's, uh, it, it was kind of hot and I needed the uh, shade. And there's another place that we sometimes go that uh, had a lot of people playing at it. So I needed to find another place to go. So this was the next available option, unless I go across the street over there, which maybe I'll someday go there, but I don't like that one as much. My niece has a house a couple of blocks over that way, but she has a big yard, but it's not that big. but it's bigger than mine. Sitting here, I got my shoes off because I don't know if I'm getting a planter's ward or if I'm getting a heel spur or something like that, but I'm, I got a bad pain on the bottom of my foot and I don't know what's going on with it. I may have to get it checked out because it hurts a lot. So even though I'm wearing these uh, Skechers, they have like a memory, a memory foam inside, which do cushion an awful lot, but it's not helping. I thought they would, but they didn't help. And usually I wouldn't wear the, these things kind of, you know, for a long walk, about two miles or so from my house. In some of my other videos, you see me uh, in a yard where, where we have a lot of chickens and stuff like that, but that's my in-law's house. It's not my house. And um, they're always doing yard work and stuff like that. And plus they had a lot of ticks. And um, I'm trying to, I don't want him to get ticks and I don't want to get ticks either. So a place like this, there's no, almost no wildlife other than him and birds or whatever else comes around here, but there's not really, uh, there's no raccoons, there's no chickens and other animals that are around here. So I think there's less chance I have to worry about getting a tick around here. But the other place, sometimes I get like two or three ticks on him and I don't like that. So it's a beautiful day today. Great day to play with the dog. That might have been a firehouse at one point, and this might have been uh, the bell for the fire department. Or it might have been something else, I don't know. And this little area here is uh, it's called East Williston. And after that train station, that's uh, Williston, Williston Park. And then that way is still East Williston for a couple of blocks. And then it turns into Mineola in New York. And that's where I live, in Mineola.
And on that side of the train tracks, if you keep going that way, it's the town is called Roslyn. Roslyn. So then after 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 Williston Park, it's back at the Mineola again, and Mineola is kind of like a big L-shaped town. So even though this is kind of an affluent area, there's still a lot of people that honk their horns and that kind of uh, douchebag sometimes. Monkey, when I got here, there was there was a squirrel playing around by that big tree over there, and thank God he didn't see him. Cause he hates squirrels. And if this, and if, if he saw a squirrel and it was over there and the, and the squirrel took off, he would chase after the squirrel and he would run right across into the cars, even if uh, even if it meant he was going to die. He doesn't care. So let me know about the weather where you are and what the temperature is like. This is around maybe 75, 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit today. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. But 70 degrees Fahrenheit is uh, average room temperature. So it's rather nice out. Someone else with a dog. I look for that type of bowl that's there. I got that in a 99 cent store. And it has these handles on the on the side, and I could take some sticks and I could jam them into the, the handles to keep him from flipping the bowl over. Because he does uh, he does do that once in a while. Come here, Charlie. Come on. It's something strange. I'm on I'm on Instagram as well as as this. I mean, the majority of what I uh, put up on the internet is on Instagram. And uh, there's a guy 
every few days he'll ask me, how much is this dog? How much is this dog? He keeps asking me how much this dog is. And uh, I, could say, I could tell by the way he's asking that he, he doesn't really speak English too well. Um, and I'm trying to figure out if he just wants to know generally how much a dog like this costs. Or it seems strange, but it, it, the way he asks almost gives me the impression that he's looking to buy him or something. Which I would never do. But you know, I, I when he first started asking me, I, I told him it was a it was a Boston Terrier, and they're usually black and white, but he's brown and white. Um, but if it was me, and I and I was curious about a dog, I mean, once I told you know, once I found out what kind of a dog it would be, I would start looking it up on my own, and I would be able to figure it out pretty quickly how much they would cost. So I'm not sure why the guy keeps asking me. But I did, I did tell him about how much I had paid. Hey, remember, he's eight years old now. And uh, when I bought him, uh, he was a little old for um, like a puppy. You know, he was like at the, at the point where he was like uh, five, four months old or something like that. And usually they sell them when they're like two months or something like that old or whatever. And he was right at the point, and like they initially had wanted, I think like twelve hundred or fourteen hundred dollars for him, and um, I don't know how, but I, I just I said, well, I'll give you uh, six hundred, and then they uh, they said that they'd get back to me, and then they got back to me, and they said, well, how about six fifty? And I was like, all right, <laughs> so that's what I ended up paying for him, but yeah, it would have been. You know, figured double that if it was uh, if he was a little younger, but it didn't seem to ma matter at all. I mean, he was perfectly fine, and I trained him, and he did per he did well. You know, so and I had told the guy that too that had asked me about him, and you know, I mean, I li I wrote that out, and but he just keeps asking, how much is it? How much is he? How much is he? And I'm like. That's why I'm starting to wonder if he's uh, looking to see about buying him or something. But do you think anybody would ever sell their own dog? You're a good boy. I would never sell you, Charlie. Not even for a million dollars. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> now he may be eight years old, but he acts like a puppy. Those noises he makes are like puppy noises. See how his eyes are getting red rimmed? That means he's getting tired, he's getting hot. I got water in there.
See, with the sun behind me, it makes my own shadow, obscures the picture. That way. This way, Charlie, that way. Over there. That way. No. No. Over there. Good boy. He seems to understand hand, hand gestures a lot. with the sun that way, it's better photography. Rain's coming. See, our trains are short, but they're double-deckers. And they often run backwards. That's the locomotive in the back. I think we're gonna go to a different location. But we're gonna relax a little bit because he seems like he's getting tired. Maybe one more throw. I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate the views and the support. And I'll see you on the next video. That's it. Oh no, another train's coming.
Take it easy.